Hello everyone and welcome to Tormont's first ever virtual roadshow event. My name is Brian Davis and I will be your host for today's session. Today we're going to take a look at three very versatile machines who have recently undergone pretty significant changes. We're going to start off with the 315 GC small excavator, then we're going to go to the new D3 small dozer, then we're going to show you the 420 XE backhoe loader. So we're going to give you a walk around of each of the machines, talk about some of the features, we'll get up into the cab and show you what the operators will experience on each one of them. On to the D3. Caterpillar recently redid their nomenclature on dozers and they now start at D1 and go to the D11. The new D3 replaces what once was the D5K2. In terms of size, weight, dimensions, horsepower, the new D3 is virtually identical to what the D5K2 was. The blades are all the same, the undercarriages are the same, the frames are the same, but the major difference here is the new engine in the, in the new D3. It's the CAT C3.6. It puts out 104 net horsepower, the same as what the D5K2 had, but it's a smaller power plant, able to generate a little more power, and the nice part about that is it allowed the engineers to redesign the front hood of this machine. You can see that they've improved the slope angle on the front dramatically, which allows the operator to have much better visibility over the front of the machine to what work they're doing along the job site. The blade is identical to what, what we had on the D5K2. It comes with the three mass mounts for a mass mounted grade control system if you want to add one in. And it also has the plug-ins up on the front of the nose for that system. This particular machine comes from the factory this one has a, a 3D integrated system that is an option from factory and it happens to be on this tractor. It gives us 3D GPS built right into the system and integrated into the machine. So the mass mounts and the plug-ins, they're not going to be used for a GPS system, but what they could be used for is if you had an application where you're inside a building, had no visibility to the, to the sky, to satellites, and you wanted to use a laser or, or a total station system. You could plug that on to the blade here, plug it into the machine, and away you go, you got a great control system. On the back side of the blade, we've got the turnbuckle, which is adjustable. What this allows us to do is change the pitch of the blade to make it a bit more aggressive or to lay it back for better spreading of material. There's also an option available for a hydraulic power pitch, which puts a hydraulic cylinder in here, and then it allows the operator from the cab to change the pitch of the blade forward to penetrate the ground, and then lay it back to better spread and manage the material. So it's a nice option, it's available from the factory. They've been very careful at routing all of the hoses on the back side of the blade. All the hydraulic hoses are protected where, where possible, and every one of them has a wire cage around it to help protect it from wear, from rubbing on the other hoses, and also from any debris that might get in there, so it will help protect it against rupture. So they've done a really nice job in, in doing some of that protecting on the back side of the blade. When we walk around here to, this, to the uh, right front of the machine and we start talking about serviceability on the new small dozers, really nice feature about these things is all the serviceability can be done from the ground level. So you don't have to climb up and down on the machine. For a technician standpoint, it's a really nice thing to do because you don't want to be climbing up and down and slipping and falling. To do daily checks, simply open up the right hand compartment. You've got your engine oil dipstick right here. You can check the engine oil. If it comes time to service the air cleaner, it's right here. You just pop that cover off, pull the air cleaner out, put a new one in. Very easy to service. When it comes time to change the oil in the machine, you got to get in there and take out that oil filter. Well, the nice thing is you just pop this little panel off here and there you go. You've got full access to the side of the engine. You can change the oil filter and then there's the oil filler cap right there when you get to put oil back into the engine. Again, all done at ground level, no climbing up and down required. In terms of undercarriage, the D3 comes with the same configuration as we had on the D5K2. The standard configuration that you see here or the LGP or low ground pressure wider shoe configuration. All right. At the back side, we have our planetary final drives. These have been a stalwart of Caterpillar dozers for many, many years. Inside this final drive housing, there are planetary gears, which help spread that load from the main drive axle out amongst a number of gears which improves 
the life of, of your final drive system. It also helps spread the shock loads out that can hit those final drives from any rocks or anything you hit on the job site. A really nice feature too on the Caterpillar dozers down here is our segmented sprockets. You can change the sprocket segments without having to completely un remove the chain and disassemble the tractor. You can take the guarding off and just get at these one by one, walk the tractor head, and you can change out those sprocket segments just to make them all brand new again. It's a really nice feature that uh, and really good for serviceability. Going back to the serviceability standpoint, when we open up this compartment here and we have a look, what do we got? We got our main battery disconnect switch in here and our lockout hasp. So you can take that key out, put the lockout hasp and put a padlock on there and protect this machine from vandalism, theft, that kind of thing. We got our batteries, cat maintenance free batteries, nothing really to do on them. But when the day comes, if they have to be replaced, very easily accessible for a technician. Pop them out, pop new ones in. You don't have to climb into the belly of the beast to do it. It's all right here. We also have our hydraulic service in here. Our hydraulic filter is here. It's got an ecology drain, so we can drain the fluid out of that, out of that filter housing before we remove it to avoid spillage. Pull it out, change out the cartridge, put a new hydraulic cartridge filter in there, screw it all back together, and it's all done right here at ground level. We have our test ports here for our oil sampling and our pressure tests, so the technicians, again, don't have to climb in and climb out and, and climb up and down on the machine. It's nice and easy to get at. As we move around to the back side, you'll notice all of your all of your fluid compartments or most of your fluid compartments fill up from the back side. On the left, we have the diesel exhaust fluid tank. Of course, it's got the industry blue coloring on it. Okay, we've also added a, a decal here for DEF fluid, so it makes it nice and easy for the operator to know where to put their DEF fluid. The next compartment, the black covering, is the diesel tank. Okay. So that's where you put your diesel fuel in. All the way over here in the orange cover, we've got the hydraulic oil tank. So that's where we put our hydraulic oil. We've also put decals on each one of those. Believe it or not, we have had instances where unfortunately hydraulic oil has been put into the diesel exhaust tank or vice versa. It's not a great situation and it's a very costly repair bill. Right here, we have a sight glass for a hydraulic oil. So when you're doing your daily walk around check, you can see in there and you can make sure that your hydraulic oil is in the operating range. Nice and easy to check at. This here is our high definition rear view camera. And when we get up into the cab a little later, we'll show you how the view is out of that camera, but it's nicely protected in this housing, sits in tight, not gonna get knocked off or hit by any debris. On the bottom, we've got a draw bar. That's what comes, most of our tractors come standard with a draw bar. However, this D3, it could be equipped with a ripper scarifier or a retrieval winch if you so desire. That is an option. You would have to order the four valve hydraulic package and then add that attachment on. Okay, it could be ordered from the factory like that or it can be added on later. As we move around the tractor, in terms of the final bit of serviceability, we open up this compartment and in here we've got our cab air cleaner for fresh air. We can change that out and put a new one in so you keep the air going into that cab nice and fresh. We also have our primary and secondary fuel filters right here. So again, serviceable from ground. We have ecology drains so we can drain them out before removing them to avoid spillage. And we have the windshield washer tank here so we can put new windshield washer fluid in so you can help keep those windows clean. So really nice that all the serviceability on this new D3 dozer is from ground level all the engine stuff is on one side. Nothing has to come in from the left side. It's all done on the right. And then you walk your way around. The technician doesn't really ever have to climb up on top of this machine. So now we've gone around the machine. How about now we jump up in the cab and have a look at what we got to see up there. Here we have the new CAT 10, 10 inch touchscreen monitor inside the cab. A lot of functionality in this monitor. Uh, a lot of things that the operator can customize and uh, we'll just do a little quick walkthrough of, of what's in this monitor. Here's the home screen and as you can see in the center we've got our rear view camera, our high def camera that we talked about earlier. You can see the visibility out of the back. You can just barely see the draw bar there and the back of the track so it gives you good good visibility right to the back of the machine. Up on the left side here we've got our temperature gauges. Up here we've got our main fall sensor. This, this tractor is equipped with a slope assist system and in that there is a main fall and cross slope sensor. 
So the main fall measures the main fall or the pitch of the of the tractor. Uh, so we're right now we're sitting at a two percent upslope, and on the right side it shows us our cross slope for the blade. So the blade is sitting at one percent, leaning towards the left, and that will change as the operator moves the blade and moves the tractor across the job site. Over here we've got our fuel and our def tank readings where we're both full, which is great. Down here on the bottom. We show that we're in neutral, but if we were to go into gear, we'd be in 1.8 forward and we have 2.0 reverse. So that's our home screen. And if we want to go in and select anything or configure anything in here, we go up to the functions button, or we call it the hamburger button. You touch that button there and it takes you into all the different functions. So if we want to go to slope assist, we just push slope assist again, all touch screen, and it takes us into the slope assist feature. So now we can set our main fall and our cross slope. And then what this slope assist is, is a simple 2D system that allows the operator to set the main fall and the cross slope, hit the automatics, and the machine will follow along to about a 1% uh, accuracy. So it's a, a nice system. You just want to run water across a job site, say at 1% cross fall. You can set up your blade at 1%, hit the autos, and it'll keep your cross slope set at 1%. Okay, we go back to the hamburger button. We want to look at the camera. A little bit more in depth there you got a bigger shot of that camera you still have your slope assist over here and you still have your your fuel and your temperature gauges but you got a lot bigger screen there to see what's going on behind the machine and really nice high def visibility okay we got our settings a lot of configuration in here we can go into the machine settings and we can change our blade modulations for raise and lower our tilt modulation the steering you can make things a little more aggressive a little softer uh, you can go fast, slow, so there's a lot of operator preference selectable things in here. We want to go back out of here and then we can go back to the hamburger button and we'll look at things like, we'll go back to our main gauge screen, we'll look at these functions over here. So traction control, we can turn that on or we can turn it off, okay? Right now it's showing that it's off, right now it's showing that it's back on again. What's traction control? That allows the machine to lessen the torque to the final drives when it senses that the machine has loaded the blade up really full and is about to spin the tracks. So traction control will allow the operator to make an adjustment to the blade and not spin the tracks and carry on the forward momentum of the machine. So it's a nice feature that helps reduce your undercarriage costs. Stable blade. That's a sensor that's on the back side of the blade and what that does is makes minute little adjustments to the blade without the operator even knowing it and carries uh, allows the tractor to carry a more uh, stable and flat grade so the operator doesn't have to make as many inputs into the blade control and at the end of the shift they're not making as many movements with their arm so it saves on operator fatigue it's a nice feature to help the operator be more efficient auto carry this is a really neat feature and it's new and it, uh, what it does is it allows, it, it allows the machine to measure the forward progress. And as you load the blade up and get ready to, you know, spin the tracks or spin out and you're going to become not efficient because you're not moving forward, auto carry will take over and it will actually lift and lower the blade very slightly and allow the machine to continue moving forward. So it's a little bit like traction control, but in traction control, the operator has to make those adjustments. With auto carry, the machine takes over. It will automatically lift the blade to let the machine keep moving forward, and then it'll drop the blade slightly to keep a, a full blade load and keep forward momentum and being efficient. So it's a really neat feature. Bidirectional, we've had that in the past. Of course, before it was, a, it was more of a touch button. This is on the touch screen. What we can do, if we enable bidirectional, we can set our forward and reverse speeds. So it'll automatically go into 1.8 when we go forward. It'll automatically go into 2.0 when we go in reverse. So you can set that up and enable it. And then that way, when the operator changes direction, it goes to the gear that he's most comfortable with and wants to use all the time. So lots of functionality in that monitor. Again, all touch screen and a really nice bright color and, and good visibility for the operator to use. Below that, we have the 3D grade screen, which this tractor came from the factory with a fully 3D integrated uh, GPS system. So this is a 10 inch touchscreen GPS uh, grade control monitor. It's the cat grade monitor. 
okay? If this machine was not equipped with the 3D grade from factory, this would just be a glove box compartment that would sit in here which you could put a bit of stuff in or a bit of storage. But that goes out of there when you have 3D and that's where the, the grade control monitor goes. So really nice area for the, for the operator for visibility. When they go from the right side of the blade, look over to the left side of the blade, they're constantly looking through the, the, the display. They can see where they are in terms of grade on the job site. All right. And that there is a quick tutorial on the new touchscreen monitor in the D3 Dozer. I'd like to thank you, our customers, for taking time out of your busy schedules to tune in and listen to what we had to say. Hopefully you got something out of it and it was worth your while. If you want to look up some more information, have a look in that resources window and check out what's there on these three products that we talked about.